people this is rainbow rising welcome to my youtube channel these are messages for the collective which means i don't do specific zodiac signs i feel we are all connected and you can find something in this message if you're drawn to it i also record message of the day that i feel is important for those who are on similar frequency and in the similar uh, place of their path, spiritual path. And today I channel the message of um, us being guided through us because sometimes we need something and our eyes fall specifically on the solution, on the hint, on what we need at the moment. Like today I was... Um, uh, guided to get a microphone maybe because the sound is bad of my video or maybe um, that can be another step forward in my journey so it's just an example maybe you need a technical acceleration technical support to be able to express yourself and carry your message forward and you might be placed exactly in front of what you need <clears throat> So, the reading for today, as I said, is for the collective, meaning everybody who feels called to watch it. There are no zodiac signs in my readings as of yet, unless the need for such will appear. For the moment, I don't feel the need. I identify with multiple signs and sometimes watch multiple um readings that are not just my sun sign like some people like to identify so let's begin the message is um the sky is red get ready to receive there is a beautiful beautiful fiery time that sets you on fire in a good sense uh, fire in the sense of excitement, will to take action, being fiery and willing to express yourself, um, walking with confidence on your path, um, being the messenger, living the dream, dreaming by example. The sky is red and get ready to receive. Another message that I received was new cycle begins begin and shed the old meaning start from now there are temptations of going back to the old ways these might not necessarily be bad ways these are solutions for example um, of how to support yourself how to get through life. And even though these were not bad ideas, ideas of so much better quality, so much more in alignment with you will become available. So I think this is a great time to let go of our old patterns, old ways of thinking, old habits, and trying something new. Begin. A new path unfolds. Sometimes, you know, um, it's really saddening, but at the same time, I know it's a positive message when like I see uh, a dead animal somewhere, a cat or a mouse recently, and it's, it's horrific, but um, from spiritual point of view, it carries a good message of transformation, of something amazing being about to happen, uh, the old is gone, is dead in a beneficial sense, in a good sense, and something new emerges and that new something is you the petals they just unfold and fold and fold and there you are in all your grace and glory uh, the color you're attracted to is a message for you 
um, definitely you are your own reader I might be uh, giving you hints but the best advisor for you is you whenever you're attracted to something this is where spirit is calling you spirit is guiding you through you is is mirroring where your soul wants to take you and so many times I was walking towards that door and I never knocked on it. I see it now uh, looking back. Life always brings back another chance of you living your purpose. It's not just one, it will go away. No, it won't. It will come back to you. It will keep knocking. The opportunity, maybe in a different form, will come and ask you in, invite you in to be yourself. You're invited to become yourself. You're invited to emerge from all these limitations. And please don't blame yourself. You have never limited yourself because you wanted to. There were limitations of perception in the society, how we grew up, that we absorbed. And now we're setting ourselves free. We are becoming. This is a beautiful time of becoming. And sometimes looking back, you might see, oh, how could I have missed that chance? It came to me 10 years ago. I should have taken it. I would be somewhere else now. I don't think there's any point thinking about it this way because at that point, clearly, we weren't ready. We weren't grown spiritually to embrace that opportunity but it planted a seed didn't it that's another message that i was getting <clears throat> the seeds are ready for harvest now maybe in the past we planted many seeds and we thought we we begin something and then it kind of faded nothing really came out of it it's coming back around as a fruit the seeds you planted have become a fruit at least some of them at least three of them and you will be surprised oh wow i thought i actually missed that opportunity i thought nothing came out of this my effort i was kind of okay accepting that this didn't work out it did it did I'm really happy and excited to know that some of us will really, really, really live authentically now. I'm just so touched when sometimes I talk to one of my friends that I haven't been in touch with for a while. And I hear like I heard from my friend a few days ago. She said, I'm just living the dream that I created for myself. Wow. Let's sit with that for a moment. I'm just living the dream that I created for myself. Glory, hallelujah. Honestly, I'm just so happy for anyone who can subscribe to that, who dare to walk authentically, saying no to something that wasn't you. It was tempting, right? Maybe it would give you comfort. But deep, 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 all souls know that comfort is not satisfaction. It's not what we want. And some are so wise very early in their growth. And they know right away in early 20s, no, that's not for me. That's just not what I want to do. Wow. I'm very impressed. I'm very honored to have friends like that. And I'm just so inspired and so grateful that we get to exist in the same time on this planet. That's amazing. Even this friend can be physically far away. It's just so gratifying and inspiring. And it accelerates my own growth knowing that someone out there is actually living their dream. If you aren't yet, you still can. You are the beautiful lotus flower that unfolds. 
maybe like I said to myself lately so many times I see myself standing at the door I knew that was that door I really wanted to get in oh my gosh I was so I really wanted to do this walk that path and I walked to the door and I didn't have the confidence to knock I didn't believe in myself enough and I just walked away turned around and walked away I thought I gave up without trying many times before and the opportunities they keep coming back they keep telling me this is you it can't walk away because this is who you are your essence returns to you There's energy of the dragon here, which basically um, is accelerated growth. It's very powerful energy that will carry you, um, will help you accelerate your results. And the energy of the dragon here, it just comes in as you're in the alignment and you live your life in the flow. You're in harmony with who you are. You don't block yourself. You don't think. You just flow. And this is where the dragons emerges almost underneath you to carry you even faster to where you want to go. What does it mean? It means solutions. You want to get somewhere. You want to see something. You want to be part of something. You don't know how to get there, how to get the ticket, where to get the money from. The solutions will just come. They might appear in your head. If a thought keeps knocking from inside your head, this is a message too. Make sure you check it out. Discover. It might not be perfect, but it might be a stepping stone. It might be a step towards where you want to go. Work with yourself. I think it's a great time to tune out the distractions and be with yourself. Be with yourself. Tap in. The answers are within, honestly. Whenever there was a misfortune, there will be fortune now. Whenever I hear you denied yourself something, you denied yourself the confidence, you denied yourself the miracle. It's coming in with great strength. To take you, to take you there where the dragon lives emerald dragon green dragon do not fear competitive environment you are unique you are you you don't have to compete with anyone tune this all out if any kind of um competition uh, say you want to apply somewhere and there are so many other candidates that college, that school is really famous for being very uh, popular, having high standards. So many, up, so many people apply to it. Don't let it discourage you. You apply as well, okay? You are unique. You don't have to defeat anyone or be better than anyone, but you definitely stand out, okay? Believe in yourself. Write it on the mirror in your bathroom so that you can see it every day. You are unique and you believe in yourself. I have this t-shirt that says, believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. Okay, there's only one you, honey. Oh my gosh. And there are so many opportunities for you.
not all of them are nice. Some are sneaky, but some are amazing. There's an energy of a peg, Pegasus, you know, the horse with the wings or the unicorn with the wings, meaning there's a wonderful, wonderful new beginning, totally in alignment with who you are. Just make sure you get it. Make sure you take it. Something's knocking on your door. Take it. Answer the call, okay? Literally, I had situations when I was... I'm not talking about the dream here. I was taken to a store, to a venue or wherever. And like an old school landline, ancient type of phone, like in the Matrix, color red rang when I was in the store, okay? And it was a music store, definitely a call to do with music. It's just an example, can be anything. Yes, yeah, the time of the, ooh, time of the sun and the star. So someone definitely will be here in the spotlight, will be, will be performing, you'll be also very happy. Uh, you'll be in alignment, you'll be, with other people who are very happy with the way they live their lives. So listen, it's very important the people we surround ourselves with, okay? Um, yes, we're meant to be there for others in times of need, of course, but daily, we really need to be very, very picky what vibes we're around because this is what we become. And we want to encourage other people, but we also want to be encouraged. You know, sometimes one little sentence, a few words of encouragement can completely change your life. So be the encourager but also be around those who see your uniqueness, who dare to reflect it back to you, to actually tell you, hey, you're amazing at this. Hey, man, you should this and that. You should go forward. You should definitely pursue that career. We really need that tap on the back. And when you're around the right people who see the beauty of who you are, who see your talent, who see your potential, it can really accelerate your growth. So make sure you're around people who see you, value you. Because yes, there's the whole world, the, the egg is hatching. So something is like the lotus, like we said, this is the time of the lion. This is the time to roar, meaning yes, dare to express yourself. And it's not about how it's going to be received. You just absolutely have to express your truth now now meaning this year okay <laughs> and sometimes before something goes forward before something grows it goes backwards a little bit so like in my case when my throat chakra started opening it was also supported by this amazing stone called larimar that um, accelerates opening of third eye and throat chakra. Wow, I got such a cold and uh, I, I almost lost my voice. I couldn't talk. So initially I wasn't happy, but then I thought to myself, wait a second, something's realigning here. I'm clearing the old energy from my throat so that I can speak my truth. I can express myself authentically. And it's not only about talking, it's about living your truth. So first, I got sick here, but I know it's because better is ahead. And that can apply to anything. Sometimes it gets worse before it gets better. <clears throat> so I hear multiple nominations. So maybe someone's getting a reward someone's getting an offer, is getting a prize for something, is being noticed. Um, oh, a professional writer, I hear. So maybe someone uh, is no longer um, writing as a hobby. It becomes a full-time job. Uh, you get an income, you get supported, um, and you can support yourself doing what you love. Oops. 
and this is a very magical beginning it's like uh, being catapulted into a new reality external reality you wake up you think oh my gosh like i'm living my dream did i create it <laughs> like my friend said did i actually create it You might be missing home, of course, or you might be missing something from your past or maybe friends that relocated. Um, but make sure you don't get out of alignment by um, wanting to go back. This is like a time where we, when we might feel like we want to go back to something and um, just, just think about it, think about it, think about it. brotherhood of the rose <clears throat> oh i see okay so well well there might be a few regrets maybe um about something that has ended but the regret is not on your part or on someone else's who maybe wasn't ready to cooperate with you at the time they weren't mature enough and you walked away and live your life and now they're like hmm but who cares right we are here to be happy we are here to be the flower have flower in our hair <laughs> and um, dig deep i feel you dig deep you really see the depth of the person standing right in front of you don't just see their face you really see what's inside and um that's because of the connection with water. <laughs> it's like someone's insisting, like, I'll never stop loving you. You are guided by the star. <clears throat> Someone's going to stand on the stage. Um, stage is your home. You feel at home on stage. You 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 don't panic. You're not scared. This feels like more comfortable than being in the shadow shade. You're just on stage, and um, that feels like home. Yes, we have home here. Mm, homecoming. And congratulations. Uh, you know you've ran. You finished the marathon, I feel. You finished the marathon, you finished the marathon, and it feels like winning, but also feels like, feels like being home. You've kind of, the spiritual castle is yours, okay? Meaning like you really are deeply rooted into who you are now. The roots, the roots are really important and these are the roots of your own self within yourself. Like I really know who I am, I know what to say no to, I know how not to get lost in the maze anymore. That's that's me and that's the spiritual castle. You've you've climbed that mountain, you've ran up that hill and there's this joy of sharing sharing your path, sharing your growth. Confetti. Confetti, party, make sure you congratulate yourself. Make sure you appreciate yourself. It's very important because each time we achieve something, we, we feel we got what we wanted. We're like, okay, what's next? No, take time, be with yourself, appreciate yourself, appreciate your body, appreciate your mind, appreciate your soul, appreciate your friends, I hear too. Make sure you give to your friends. Surprise gift might be a nice idea to someone, okay? There's a gate opening, gate to another, completely another level of life, 
where there will be hard work won't feel like hard work it will be it will be your calling it will be your excitement here i can't wait to to be there for others with others macaroni <laughs> i don't know maybe someone's italian someone who might be reconnecting with you who's italian someone who was sneaky in the past whatever okay let's get one uh, rose oracle card okay so this is a mystic rose devotion humility grace the mystic okay so i feel like this is about like um, putting spiritual gifts into practice okay so you can even like spread your energy through dance or you don't have to necessarily be a healer officially even though you are a healer by healing yourself and just planting yourself uh, putting yourself among other people who need your energy um, because just your vibration your frequency will shift the lives of others so you're like a magic wand, you go around and you shift people, you wake them up, you take them to another level just by being around them. You don't have to do a healing session for them. You are the magic wand. Oh my God, that's exciting. Something's been promised to you, I feel, and it's been long due and it's it's about to happen okay it's been a long wait um it's been a long wait so you just have to keep enjoying life you know it's coming it's hard to um maybe take your attention away from the weight but if you throw yourself into joy you will just be in the moment, like children. They are in the moment. They don't plan. They don't think about the past, about the future. They enjoy the moment. So be like a child. Enjoy the moment. Okay? Pale baby pink might be really soothing for your soul. It might bring you back home. Okay, I want to finish that reading with these beautiful messages. That was amazing. And the acceleration is here, so I want to thank everyone for existing and spreading the joy. Thank you. Until next time.